Hello beautiful people. My name is Kristen. I really appreciate you taking time to stop by my channel. If nobody has told you that you are beautiful today, you are beautiful. Each of us is uniquely and specifically created and made and you can use that to bring somebody else joy and goodness to the world because I know that each of us has that in them. And I think part of little things in life that bring us joy are worth holding on to and celebrating, even if they're not maybe somebody else's joy. I know a lot of people kind of think it's silly that I appreciate and love Stitch Fix so much, but I know if you're watching this, you're, you're my people and you're beautiful to me and I appreciate you sharing it with me. So I don't know what's in this box. I did open it, but the bundles and everything are intact. And I say bundles because I know I ordered an extra. So we can start with that. I got some pajamas and I'm a little pajama obsessive, I guess. <laughs> Just confessing. So these are super cute. I'm, I'm kind of even though I like doing videos and speaking in front of crowds, I'm really an extrovert. I love at the end of the day when I know the day is done, even if it's like seven o'clock and I know I'm not going out, I will put on my pajamas, get my hot tea, and I am happy, happy, happy. So these are super cute. It's got the coffee theme with the eye mask on it there. Love it. This is that super, super soft material. And you can see on the pocket, it's got the little heart coffee mug, which could be tea too, right? It says coffee on the sleep mask, but at night before I go to bed, it could be tea. It's got the long sleeves and I think it's got piping. Yeah. So that's awesome. And then super soft sleep pants. Looks super comfortable. I think if I'm not mistaken, these were about $48, so not inexpensive but a good pair of pajamas if they're well made I'm gonna use those <laughs> so I've got my little card here I just want to make sure that I still have my stylist Alex with a Y and I do so I'll read the note afterwards because I like to be totally surprised because I think I told her that I was adding to my inspiration board which is like the stitch fix Pinterest but I have no I don't think I had any special requests and these look great colors. Look at all these blues and greens. Green is my favorite color. Not necessarily on me to wear, but just in general, I just love green and just symbolizing growth and all that. So let's see what we got together. This first thing is Avlin, A-V-L-N. And it's a really cute stripe. And it's got that kind of seersucker. I just got some shorts that were beige and white this color. I wonder if I could even mix that. Could I do that? <laughs> I guess I could try it and see what it looks like. But cute little top. It does have the tie front. And I do really like this material. I'm generally not so much a striped person, but I look forward to trying that. That looks really cute. Oh, ooh, this looks pretty. This is pale sky. And it's got beautiful crochet lace. And I am really into the gauzy look. I want to find more and more. I do have a couple. I do have a couple shirts already, but I'm looking for even more. This is just a style I really want to embrace this year. This kind of whimsical, almost nightgownish. I must have a thing for <laughs> sleepwear, right? And then, ooh, look how pretty this is. This is Mark and Spruce. Look, it's the pineapple top. I'm pretty sure I had this pinned. It's got the kind of triangle cutout that is in the front. And it's a nice silky material. Let me see if I can see real quick the tag and see what's made of. It is polyester rayon spandex. It's a mixed material, so the back is super cute. The back is a more knit as opposed to the front that's silky. And then this is the crochet down the middle. So is it totally see-through? I think it is. So I'm not sure what I wear under it because the cut is halter. So I don't know. We'll put it on with a strapless bra and see how much. I only have nude colored strapless bra, so I'm not sure if that's going to show through the back. But we will see, won't we? 
And then beautiful green color. I love the green. Gal meets glam. I don't think I own anything. I've seen other people get that. It's got the cute short lace sleeves. And it stops and becomes kind of a sateen dress. That is gorgeous. I love it. All right. And last up, I have a skies are blue. It looks like a skirt. And you can see the almost a kind of a tweedy, thicker, got a little detail there. That's really nice. Cute, cute skirt. I'm going to try that on with the white blousey top or the pineapple top. I can probably try them both on. So let's get to some try-ons and we'll see what it all looks like. Stay tuned. First up is the dress by Gal Meets Glam. The lace overlay on the top, it's nicely lined, has cute short fluttery sleeves, which I love. Love this green color. Uh, Alex did mention that I could wear it to the wedding I'm going to in March and it would be perfect for that. And it is right around the St. Patrick's Day weekend as well. So could wear it to church on that Sunday. Um, it is a little bit higher than my natural waist. I'll get close so you can see the detailing. It's really nice. It's got its own piping. And then this is the more satin brushed knit. And I'll back up so you can see the length. The same all the way around. I think it falls really nice. Just simple, classic. I don't feel like this would go out of style very quickly. Maybe the sleeves are a little Trend, on trend right now, but otherwise this is classic. I do have to confess I have a navy um, lace dress. It does not have the flutter sleeves. It's just a sleeveless, more short sleeve, cap sleeve um, that I could wear to the wedding and it would be totally appropriate, but this green one's just really tempting. It is $148. I'll try to be listing everything on the screen for you as well, but an investment dress, because you could probably even put on a denim jacket and some more casual jewelry, which is what I do with my navy one, and I dress it down, wear it with my cowboy boots. So I would probably do that with this green one too, and then I get more use out of it. Um, I love that with lace dresses. So stay tuned for the next thing. Okay, next we have a market and spruce top. It has a really pretty neckline. It is a little high maintenance. Um, the, you have to use these teeny, teeny little buttons. These teeny little buttons there to get in and out of the shirt. But it's not like you have to take it off to go to the bathroom or a million times a day, right? You just do it once at the beginning of the day. So this is the cut. I think it looks good under the arms. I think it's a really pretty color. You see the back and the crochet. You'll have to tell me. And then... This skirt is skies are blue in navy. Has cute detail there. This is a small, I'm not sure that I'm a small right now in my bottom, but um, I am working back on it. I sprained my ankle three weeks ago and that kind of thwarted my running and gym going, but I think this might be okay. This Stick with and just continue to tone up but I might try a size up in this you can leave me your comments what you think but I think this is versatile I'm gonna try it on with the other two tops as well this one was $48 so a really good deal I forgot I wanted to show it to you untucked as well because I think you could wear it untucked and be a little more casual it would kind of cover up some of the pulling that it's doing a little bit in the skirt right here. I keep wanting to need to pull it down to adjust it, but there it's not super, super long, but I really like the length of this. So that's what it would look like untucked. Okay. This next top is Daniel rain, which they're always a little pricey, but I love Daniel rain. I have bought in two or three. So here's the beautiful crochet detail. Some across there is a lining underneath the middle of it. You've got the sleeves. 
It is a little wrinkly, but I don't think that's horrible when you have a gauzy shirt like this. Um, it's kind of hard to see the white detail, but there we go, got to focus. There's a band of crochet right across the bust line. So this is like um, almost the center of the boobs, and then there's all this blouse. So I try to go ahead and tuck it in just to see what it looks like, but it's super, super flowy. I think it's difficult to have it tucked. You kind of need to have it more flowy. I think instead of the skirt, I would wear this with some tight like black pants or skinny jeans or something of that nature. And I do really like it. It's kind of, kind of my style, but I'm just not totally sold on the placement of this crochet right here. And then it kind of comes down because you see it kind of, I know I like flowy and blousy and big, but I'm just not totally sure about this cut and fit. So let me know what you think. Is this easy breezy cover girl beautiful? <laughs> or should I hold up for something else? This is 74, I think, 78, 74, $74. So let me know. Okay, first off, the more I looked at that Daniel Rain top, the more I actually love it. It's just really beautiful, the crochet and the style. So let me know. I'm going to stick a poll um, up in the little box if you click the I and you can say which items you think I should keep or not. Because um, there's five. I won't have room for the pajamas because there's only five things. So I'll just put the five main things. You can leave me a comment also, let me know. And if you're enjoying this, please take a minute to subscribe. I know most of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed, so I would be honored if you would consider doing that. So this last top in this box is the AVLN. Um, I keep wanting to say Alvin, but that would be a LVN. <laughs> the Kennedy Square neck tie front in navy. And this is the most inexpensive thing in the box at $36. It's got kind of the seersucker material square neck, which I don't own a lot of square necks. I think this is really cute. It's kind of nautical. Um, the sleeves are kind of got stretched to them, but they're not tight. They don't feel uncomfortable in any way. It, there is some gathering here, so I'm not sure if that makes me look a little more chesty than I am. It's got the kind of blouse, but a tie front here, which is also a little nautical looking. And then the back that we could try to tuck the ties in. I'd probably need to untie them because now there's a kind of a bulge there, but we could probably get this tucked into jeans or even the skirt if we maybe untied that so there's not a knot there. So there we go. Let me know what you think about each of these items. Okay, finally, this is the Seeing Stars pajama set with sleep mask. So here's the mask. I'm not gonna totally put it on because I don't wanna get any makeup on it. It is $58, so a little, a little up there, but it's got the cute details, the piping, super, super major soft, a little long sleeves, but I like that uh, drawstring. Tie. I didn't see the this detail when I opened it, the piping. That's really cute. And um, and show you the length. They're a little long, but I like that. And I'm gonna put them in the dryer. I'm just gonna confess to you. I'm not gonna line dry or whatever my pajamas. So I think that's perfect. All right, so that trying on stuff really kind of messes with you a little. If you can hear any background noise in the video, I apologize. My husband is home sick with the flu and knock on wood, I don't get it. And everybody else out there stays healthy. It has been crazy this year with flu epidemic and strep throat. So help me out a little. I do have some Christmas gift card credits and I do need to mention if you have not done Stitch Fix, $50 credit. Right now, if you use my link, I just got it this weekend, so it should be good for quite a while. You will have free shipping both ways and $50 credit, and I get $50 credit, and that would really help me out because I think I'm about to spend all of my credit right now. Um, but $50 is, is two or three of these things totally free. So the 
pajamas were 58 so they'd be eight dollars for you they are the extras which anybody can put in so those would be the pajamas leave me a message below in the comments if you think i should keep the pajamas because they don't have i don't have room for them in my poll the gal meets glam green dress for the wedding oh i'm really tempted to get this whole box y'all <laughs> it's 148 everything in here was totally my style i love the colors gorgeous this pineapple top just beautiful i don't think the back was real obvious i could I don't know because you don't have it's a halter so let me know in the comments also if you think I should wear something under it and if so what um, but I think it's okay I also I, I have a brighter blue I don't have a navy bra maybe a navy bra I don't know please help <laughs> the Daniel rain beautiful flowy maybe a little too flowy but the more I looked at it the more I really liked it and appreciated it the skies are blue skirt um, which was a great deal at $48 I just don't know if I should size up so comment below do you think I should try the bigger size or just go ahead and stick with this one it is stretchy and comfortable um, and particularly if I'm gonna wear a couple of those tops pulled out I think it would totally fly and um, was this this one wasn't Marcus Priest. Which one was this? Oh, the AVLN Studio one. Super cute, right? Very nautical. $36. Very reasonable. Nothing really crazy. The dress is a little pricey, but if I really love a nice dress and feel like I'll get a lot of use out of it, I will spend a couple hundred dollars on a dress. Um, usually not more than $200. Um, that's kind of my max, but it's not atypical to spend 100 on a dress um, particularly to have something really special so thank you for spending the time with me please take time to vote comment below have an awesome blessed day please stay healthy no germs <laughs> y'all take care